Hey guys, and welcome to the Chroma side of YouTube. So, I'm going right into this next video because, um, number one, I didn't want to clean up and waste a lot of this stuff. I could just go ahead and do this. This is a completely experimental video. I have been wondering for a very long time, how do you make fractals? Because I would love to be able to incorporate a fractal or two into, um some of my pores. So I mixed up some white and I have these little um, canvas panels and I'm just gonna um, flood the canvas panels with white. And I have um, four panels here because <clears throat> I have two different things. I have what they sell with the alcohol ink which is called blending solution which means it makes the alcohol ink expand then I have 91 isopropyl alcohol. My two inks that I'm going to use because they are similar colors are um, the alcohol ink. Um, this one is, I don't know what the name of this color is. Oh, I think it's, I don't know. It's mostly green. And I'm going to try it with the Dollar and Rani acrylic ink. So I have my canvases. I am currently flooding them. Like I said, I just mixed up some plain old white paint and uh, didn't need much because these are just ca canvas panels. I am going to cover the whole thing. Now I'm going to do um, a couple of drops on the canvas panel. I'm going to do a couple of drops of the ink and a couple of drops of the thing. I just want to see what type of um, what type of reactions I get with the solutions I guess you could call them just there's that I am going to torch these before I drop my inks on them because uh, I don't want any air bubbles in this so what I'm thinking is no matter what the effects is that I get out of these things I can always just make cool looking magnets out of them or something for the refrigerator <clears throat> so yeah there's always something to be made out of something just because it's not the exact uh, thing like the exact outcome that you want doesn't mean you can't make something out of it you know what I mean like you can always salvage it all right let me torch out some of these bubbles Whoops. Okay, no air bubbles. Now, this this will be um the dollar and rawny two tiles and that this one will be the alcohol side and this one will be the uh, blending solution side these two down here will be the alcohol ink let me double check and make sure you guys are in frame so I'm gonna go ahead and do I think a diagonal line so I'm gonna do one two three four one two three four one, two, three, four drops. And then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna take my alcohol. So there are reactions happening. I don't know if we can call them fractals. So let's go ahead and go in with our um, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And we're going to go in with our blending solution. Let's see, blending solution. And this was actually sold with the, uh, whoops. Okay, so that's a completely different look. 
There are different things happening in that one. Now, let's try it with our alcohol ink. I really, really wanted fractals, but I haven't been getting them. So, one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. So, I just did three drops on that one. Alcohol ink. So, I do see canvas right there. Not so sure I like that. Um, that's interesting looking. Let's try it again over here with the blending solution and see what happens. None of these have produced fractals, which is what I was going for. I do like the way this looks. Um, where's the blending solution? It looks cool, kind of looks like a geode. I mean, I could do all kinds of stuff with that. And that just made it bleed out a little more. Um, I kind of want to do something over here because I want to see something. Now, um, now I see the reactions. I actually do like this one. It looks cool to me, so I am actually going to add more dots over here. I make it look interesting. This is the alcohol side. See how that works out. This is the blending solution side. That is pretty interesting. Not even gonna mess around on that one. That's pretty cool looking. I'm I'm not upset at these things. I mean, these are actually kind of growing fractals. So I'm I'm gonna try this one again. These are growing more fractals than those did. This was the blending solution side. So I think fractals are more uh, a waiting game. This looks really cool though. I mean, I'm. I think I could make some different. This some different effects with this. I'm on this one right here. 
I just put these two on here and it's just plain alcohol ink with nothing dripped into it. Let's just wait and see what happens there. I don't know if you guys can see what I'm seeing. Um, but the alcohol ink one is the one that produced more fractals. So I'm just going one drop at a time just to see how much it actually takes to push that ink. I don't like this, but I do like this and I love the one in the middle. The one in the middle is awesome. So right now all I'm doing is I'm watching to see what happens. I love this one little fractal right there, it's amazing. This guy in the middle right here, he is the best so far. So believe it or not, the I think that the alcohol ink with the blending solution that it's sold with is the one that makes the best fractals. However, this one over here I just added more um, alcohol to started fractaling as, as well. So I'm going to get you down and show you what I mean by fractals. So do you see how those little tree-like branches are coming up off of those? Those are called fractals. Look at how cool this one looks. I really love it. I think it's beautiful. Um, you got to have a taste for it. I'm going to move you up here. Show you these guys. Okay, so, I'm going to go through them one by one. This is the Dollar and Ronnie Emerald Green with the alcohol, 91% isopropyl alcohol. It did cause a little bit of fractaling, but it also caused some different effects. It was kind of inconsistent. Um, these three are two, three different effects. These two... Um, I had to add more alcohol and it caused uh, fatter fractals in this one, but cooler fractals in this one, but I had to go back in with extra alcohol in the long run. This is the Dollar and Ronnie acrylic ink with the blending solution. And it made some interesting effects. I kind of like it. I like how the dark, the light, and everything fade off of each other and stuff. And um, if the blending solution was not flammable, I would definitely try to torch this and see if cells would pop up in there. I'm pretty sure they would, but it is highly flammable. I do not recommend putting any kind of heat on it. 
This is the alcohol ink on acrylic paint. This one is alcohol ink with 91% uh, isopropyl alcohol. And I did get some fractals. Um, and it's more geode looking. But it's not like uber fractal. Like, oh wow, she created fractals. It's like, oh wow, looks like she accidentally got some fractals. And then this one over here. I think this one's the best one that I've done. Um, all all. Five of them have fractals in them, although this one right here is a little not so much fractals, but they all do have some in there. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go through and I'm going to put some more blending solution in that one and that one. But these three are awesome. They fractaled right up and I couldn't be happier. So I'm going to put you back up, let you look, look at them yourself. Make sure you're nice and... Uh, there you go, focused. So there you have it, uh, another experiment. Uh, I hope this one helped you out. Maybe you can create some things with this uh, technique uh, on your own. But um, if you like what you saw, if you were interested in this uh, one particular um, experiment, hit that like and give me a thumbs up. Also, uh, don't be afraid to just subscribe for me. Um, have a wonderful day. Thank y'all for stopping by. Bye-bye. Hey, thank you so much for stopping by. If you enjoyed what you just watched, please hit that subscribe button. Give me a thumbs up for a like and hit the bell. That'll give you notifications when I post new videos. I really enjoyed painting today and I hope you enjoyed watching. I hope you will get inspired to do all types of things. <laughs> Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye, y'all.